hello hello guys it's me gladys lynn back with another video thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos i appreciate the comments the likes the sharing guys you are the best as you think we are in our apartment um you saw in our last video we went on the apartment hunting which wasn't easy but finally we managed to get an apartment yes by the look of it in you know it's really amazing we chose the best one for us but there's one thing i want to show you first before i give you the tour this is our area how it looks like we are not far from the main road we have security nearby there it's raining i wanted to show you something but it's raining so i'm not going to go far away and uh we have a nearby store just right there yeah that's where we can easily get things and uh this is uh, my favorite part on this apartment is the elevator you don't need to struggle with the things you just have to use the elevator yeah two of them When it comes to security here in China, police is your best friend, trust me, you don't need to avoid it more so if you have the documents, I mean the visa, you will not have a hard time dealing with them or telling them to help you. Unlike in my country where <laughs> police is your enemy. Since we are together, each of us have a key, but I drop this here just in case we are on a rush as soon as you enter uh we have um i don't know how to call this but anyway if someone is down and rings a bell for me to open for him or her i just have to place here or maybe see someone who is at the door i mean at the gate down yeah then immediately when i turn this is the bathroom we haven't touched anything or cleaned yeah that we found that doormat there promise so as soon as you enter this is what you will see uh as i told you most of the apartments in china you'll find stuff there you just have to pay your money maybe and get a few things that you need and this is our sink here it has some cabins where we also found a dryer which we are not going to use remember we gave security money so anything you touch and spoil they take from your money yeah, from your security so we shall not be touching anything we shall be using our own stuff so if you want to use a dryer this is the socket and if you have some facial or skincare products you want to place you keep them right there there is also this one okay this is the first time i'm opening it okay uh right here we have a light uh that helps you see clearly yeah i'm looking beautiful you know okay so <laughs> right here we have the soft dish they were placed here in this corner which is nice yeah we also have the brushing cups and all that that we are not even going to use we have our own um here you can place that toilet stuff like this we found this here we can use this yeah if we want but we plan to get some few things as well then here if you want to place your towel while you're taking a bath i think this is the best spot uh that is the shower yeah Usually, most of the toilets in China, you find them being squat toilets. We shall be doing that cleaning later. That is the mopper, which we found here. And uh, I had to soak the mopper. Both of them. Yes, we also have this. I think this is for the facial towels or the face towels. And uh, as well, you can hang anything you want. We have a heater. Yeah, so we have access to hot water yeah which is good during this winter so this is the light for the that light you're seeing there sorry the switch mm, there was a dustbin since we are going to stay here for a shorter period of time we shall not replace that then as you come this side you'll find 
this um, cabinet here which there is this drawers i plan to place my baby's wipes here and maybe what is this here yeah okay our shoes are right there as you see and um here i have my baby's kit and the wipes okay then i like the wallpaper uh that gives a very nice feeling or vibe in the sitting room this is the switch for the sitting room lights that's how they do look like wow so beautiful eh? and right here this is where you see your tv and the extra drawers that you can use maybe to place the remote and all that yeah we haven't switched on the tv yet and we shall use it here it's like a dispenser um where you place the water down and it comes out from this kettle here which you can use if you want to have boiled water just like this we found this here by the way so but we shall not use this we have no use to this one honestly uh i think this is the um, where you place to see how hot you want the water to be or boiling and all that so we are still in our sitting room we have our table here which is cute and big we have a smoke tray however none of us smokes okay we have our sofa here as you're seeing it's a very beautiful set matching well with the house in the corner there is a fridge small but okay and nice then right there we found that table i think that is supposed to be a dining table i think that is supposed to be a dining table however there is no dining chairs we found this here um i should say it's um they usually use this for hot pot cookings like they cook while they are eating i think you have seen that before here in china we have this here which i don't know what it is if you want to weigh yourself i think someone forgot that here okay and right here we have a punching bag none of us are boxers the things you're seeing we are lifting we are not touching anything we are not throwing anything away you know, those are the curtains the curtains are so beautiful i really love them and here you just go to the laundry area as you're saying yeah this is where the laundry is done from we have two washing machine uh we have even the home already with the hangers that are kept here yeah and from here wow yes good morning my neighbors that's the view uh i think they are also residentials yeah so those are our neighbors that's how the view looks like yeah, as you're seeing it's cloudy uh, from the laundry earlier, I'll just take you direct to the bedroom, which I had skipped. Yeah. So this is our bedroom door, as you're seeing. Wow. The bedroom is six by six, so big. I don't know if you see it so well. Uh, so here yeah, there is the closet. It has different sections. Max will be taking one section and I'll also be taking one. Eh? So, like, this is Max's side from here to this side. And then I'll be taking this side from here to this side. I'll be sharing it with Champion. Yeah, I think this side will be mine. And in the middle, it will be for Champion. Hopefully, eh? we shall see what I'll do by the way and right there um 
that's the window part i like the curtains the curtains are beautiful eh? i like the color the color for the curtain matches well with the bed yeah uh, this bed will be enough for us to share yes it's a one bedroom house there is um what a bedside lamp here and you can also charge hopefully it's working it has pots or sockets where you can charge it from as you're seeing uh, the drawer which i don't know if we shall use them or keep a few things but i want to remove it from this side uh, i want to extend this bed to the wall so that Jaden be safe when we are sleeping at night and my favorite oh my second favorite part second part either way the kitchen so this is how the kitchen looks like there is the rice cooker which we found here the sink yeah we have hot water and cold water that is that's how it looks like we found these knives here which we aren't going to touch everything you're seeing that i'm showing you apparently we found them here uh then apart from this one here i wanted to clean up some things i had to get it and uh yeah that's where we're going to be making our meals from i think this is for the what is this for okay for the light in case you're making night meals eh? you have uh light okay then ld we found this apron here which we shall clean and use yeah however when we are leaving we shall have to leave them here yeah and the good thing i also like about this place um we are not surrounded by other apartments so no one see us from afar no one sees us from a distance it's just us seeing the buildings down and all that so the place needs to be clean which we are going to work on as you know me yeah for now it's just an apartment but yeah wait for it it's going to be a home yeah so that was it hope you liked our tour and uh, you like the place as well it's not bad it's going to be convenient yeah so nice so beautiful how much did it cost six hundred thousand uganda shillings per month how much is that in dollars something like a hundred i remember telling you yes when we were signing a contract 160 something right i'll try and say again how much it costed yeah but that is it we love that place and we're already feeling at home <laughs>